On this episode of Be My Setup, I'm going to be talking about your setups you submitted for tips, tricks, feedback, and much more. So if you're interested in that, then sit back, relax, and interact, because the show starts now. It's time for the original setup show dedicated to providing you with tips, tricks, and feedback to pimp out your setup. Hosted by Matt Philly with new special guests every week. Coming at you live in three, two, one. What's up, everybody? Welcome to Pin My Setup, episode number 186, recorded live on January 31st, 2017. My name's Matt Philly. You can find me on Twitter at Matt Philly. And as always, I'm joined by producer Tom. Guys, turn your hobby into a job. Wow. Wow. If you, like, if you like playing Yu Gi Oh!, become a yeah. full time Yu Gi Oh! player. Yeah. You know, I just read a Valentine the other day. It's like, will you go out with me? But it's Yu Gi Oh! out yeah, with me. Yeah, that's good. That's funny. That's what uh, I would use. We used to love. Yu-Gi-Oh, but that's good. Like yeah, uh, good, good information, good inspiring information from Tom there. I love it. Uh, also, if you guys are interested in getting on the show, pitmysetup.com slash Q is the place to go. What are we booked up to, Tom? 293, I think. Holy balls Almost 294. That's pretty crazy. Uh, you could also get a fast pass, pitmysetup.com slash perks. Put you on the next episode. Two people did it today, and 25 people did it this month. We appreciate it. It's a great way to support the show, but by no means necessary. Now, also, join setupaddicts.com, a Facebook group, almost 21,000 members. Did That's you know my favorite crazy. number is 21? 21. 21. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's that's a cool place to go. Also, discord.gg slash Matt. That's the place to go if you want to chat with us in voice chat, text chat, not not video chat. I think soon. No video chat. Oh, I think soon. That'd be nice. I think Discord's working on that. Uh, but yeah, I think that's about all the things you need to know. Let's just uh, hop on into it. <laughs> First set of the day submitted by Vic. He's 15. He says that he uses his setup for gaming, editing, homework, and Photoshop. Now, uh, if you want to check him out on YouTube, it's Vic Ver, I think, or Vire. It's V I C K E. V I R E. So go tell him he looks pretty. Oh, you're black. I'm black. Well, <clears throat> that that's the thing. So as Tom fixes that, let's just uh, look at the setup here. I gotta say, yellow LEDs is not something we see often, and when we see it, it it's it kind of works good. I I actually am kind of a fan. I think it's uh, a great idea of having the wallpaper with the like a little hint of yellow. And then it just kind of bleeds through, and it's like, well, dude, are you sure, like, your color isn't just spewing out of your monitor? You know? Okay. Uh, but really, I think that's pretty cool. Even though you have a green case, uh, LEDs in the case, that's kind of stupid. He's but got all the colors. He's got blue LEDs on his mouth. Red, and yeah. Red. Yeah, it's just all it's over It's true. Place. Maybe he's like, you know, Skittles, taste the rainbow kind of thing. But I think the yellow is so overwhelming that it's like, keep everything yellow, yeah. if, if you could. Uh, now... He's got his speakers up high, but you know what do they call those? Oh, bookshelf speakers. Well, yeah, I mean, I guess, I guess so. I guess that works. I guess it's fine. Um, but you know how I am. I like it right up against my eardrum so that I can't ever hear again, Helen Keller style. But uh, here's the thing. Here's the thing. His cable management is honestly gorgeous. You know, he's got the cables fed through for the peripherals. Everything's going down the leg, so on and so forth. If you look back at the speakers, wire mold going down. You don't see any cable coming out of the monitors. And you know, Tom, that's my pet peeve. That is. That really is. And don't tell me that does not look gorgeous. No, it looks good. He did a great job. You know, the only cable you can really can't do anything with is the one that's coming out of the yeah. outlet. And it's white. So at least it's like, you know. Yeah, it's fun. Yeah, it's, it's just hiding its way through. Uh, now, what I think with this setup, you know, having the, the Sony receiver part there to adjust your speakers, you know, that's that's a bit big on the left side. Uh, you know, it's not the prettiest thing, but you had to put it there to make it work. We do see a cable to the left of that, but, you know, oh, well. Uh, oh, man, just had a hiccup. Um, but, yeah, I think this is, like, a pretty straightforward setup. I mean, the headphones... If I wanted to be a dick and really nitpick, I'd say that should go to the left side because it is kind of in the way of your monitor, just a smidget. And that little smidget can really cost you a digit. Okay. <clears throat> Tom, what is the theme here? Uh, there really is no theme, to be honest. I yeah. mean, is the colors all over the place. Uh, I mean, <clears throat> it's hard to say, really. Maybe he's like Logan Paul and he's actually colorblind. He's not colorblind. Okay. Well, Logan Paul is Jokes on you. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, but I'd, no theme really. 
I would say double Rubik's Cube theme. And I think if that's what he's going for, he nailed it. Ten in my book. And wait, that's, is that a rock? Like in between that's like actually a... a spiritual stone. Okay. All right. Don't ever disrespect it calling it a rock. Okay. I don't know. Uh, all right, let's just move on. Uh, someone actually said it in the chat perfectly. It, it's a great setup, but just weird, like a lot of different yeah. things. So I definitely think that's a good way to uh, to say it. Uh, and then, oh, people are saying, is it flooding outside? Yeah, or he lives a- along a river. I don't know. Probably a river. Probably flooding. Okay, so next letter submitted by and- Andreas. Uh, San Andreas. <laughs> He's 12 years old, and he uses his setup for school and gaming. Now, that photo, thanks for skipping to it and really ruining the punchline I had here. Kool-Aid. Like, Kool-Aid, man. Pops through. Uh, anyways. W- look at that photo, but then go back to his actual setup. And, and don't you just miss something? There's just only a little hint of red, and it's the chair, and then the, the crap above it. Why are you... Do you actually like the color red? Because I just feel like that part of your room, which is, yes, the same room, looks absolutely amazing. Like, that is super cool. And then it's just super underwhelming when we actually look at the setup itself. So, I don't know if you guys would agree with me. But, uh, that's pretty sad. The red has got to be worked on. And I think that's what killed your theme score. I mean, I didn't butcher it, you know, like a pig. But I would say it, it could have been a 10. Easy 10. If we just saw a little bit more red. You, you agree with that? Yeah. If you could paint the riser red or spray paint it red. Hey, man. Hey, it, if it's safe enough and you don't mess up, it yeah. would look pretty cool to have red. That would be riser. nice. And then take out the drawers. Make those red. And then just really make the desk red. <clears> and then, ruin everything. And then just, spray paint your monitor red. Oh, yeah. And the wood floor. Get rid of that shit. Make it red. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> your mom comes out like, what the hell? You can't tell the difference between blood and your floor. It's just like. It's yeah. Just, you don't know exactly uh, but really though I mean not spending a lot of time in the setup it, it is very straightforward we're not seeing speakers uh, which is you know always something we like to see cable management is good because that's just how the desk is it, I mean if you have terrible cable management with a desk like that you deserve to be slapped upside the head uh, but really it, it's a simple straightforward setup like I said I really enjoy the rest of your room and I would like to see that follow through in the main part of your room. And you're 12 years old. This is a sick room, man. Uh, kudos to you. But you got anything to add? No, you you said everything I was going to say. Of course. I always do. Uh, next setup, somebody by Trevor. 17 years old. He's a gamer looking to improve his setup. Well, <laughs> ho, ho. First off, cable management. No bueno, senorita, por favor. Also, where's the theme? Also, where are your accessories? Also, is that really comfortable and usable? Also... I just said out of mind is always uh, mistaken for having nothing on your desk. I just said out of mind, also called Usum, is actually having only what you use on a daily basis on your desk. And in a scenario like this, where you have a whole other half to the desk with nothing on it, leads me to believe that your outside out of mind score isn't too good. So, ah, eh, e. And also, I can't tell. If the the side he's using is longer or shorter than the other side, I feel it's like really hard the to same. tell. They're they're yeah. about the same. I would assume so, but the I guess because there's nothing on the left, it just looks bigger. I feel like I would use the other side. Yeah, because you don't want it up against the window. Yeah, it's half half on the window, half off. Yeah, so the one I monitor think is against it. That needs to be worked on. And yeah, I mean, he's definitely a Razor fanboy. Uh, he's even got the green taskbar, which I mean, there's nothing wrong with that, but. Man, I hate those damn mouse pads. I just hate them. They're so ugly. But, I mean, if you're really going for a Razer theme, then, you know, more power to you. But, uh, yeah, I mean, this setup, I think we just kind of like bang right into it. You know, it's empty. You got blue walls, half white, ugly curtains, nothing on your desk. Cable management's crazy. Really hard to have your computer the way that it is. If anything, put your computer on the other side. Yeah. Cable management's 10 times easier. Unless he uses easier. it for uh, schoolwork or something like that, then... <laughs> okay. Uh, the people that actually do schoolwork say it in their email. This dude, he's a Razor fan. He's probably failed school, let's be honest. Just kidding. Uh, yeah, I think I said to him, though. No, I mean, I'd probably just switch the whole setup to the other side. I, yeah, that's a good point, though. Because I feel like then maybe you could put the, the PC on top and you still have room to do, like, schoolwork on your on the right side. Yeah. Because I feel like you'd still have room if you put it in the corner. I just don't like how the monitors are, like, a straight-up V. But I guess, you know, he's the one that uses it. Hey. 
You do what you gotta do. But all right, next setup, fill up seventeen. Uh, 38. He also uses... Oh, he doesn't also. This is the first thing I'm saying about him. <laughs> he uses the setup for schoolwork and gaming. His YouTube is V-A-C-S-O. If you want to check him out, say yo, yo, yo. Uh, but yeah, I mean, this setup, it's simple. It's straight to the point. It's just sort of like a innocent kid setup. You know, you look at the second photo. He's got just enough room to squeeze those speakers in uh, and then put some cars on top, which I think is cool. He's got the hood open on one, so I guess he's doing some repairs, you know? Getting that shit started. <laughs> he like actually does repairs on him. Like, I need a uh, new engine on this thing. <laughs> but he's got you know the nice mouse pad. It's just a, I mean, it's a it's a good setup. It works for your needs, but it's not jaw dropping, life changing, anything like that. You know, accessories. You really did a great job. You have your headphones there off to the side. You have a lot of storage outside of the mine's pretty good. Uh, yeah, everything is pretty nice. It's a very interesting theme, like lighthouse boats, uh, planes. And uh, I, I think it's it's nice. The only thing that I could po possibly say that seems a bit annoying is having the nightstand directly behind you. But at the same time, it's like, you it's know. It's bed's there. So, I mean. Yeah. I guess, like, well, that's what I'll say. Like, yeah, it's the plate. nightstand. But also, it's like, you don't really have the room for it. So, just a bit difficult to make work. But I think, considering it's uh, a very simple setup, it, it works. And someone's saying, what about the, the leg room? I, I actually don't think it's awful. It, it seems to be fine. Yeah, no, there should be plenty of room for a teenager. I mean, yeah, look at the the keyboard in comparison to the leg room. It's way bigger than the keyboard, so I would say he should be just fine. Uh, so, <clears throat> and someone, he's always joking, but in the chat he said, are you into cars, planes, or boats? He's into transportation. Thank you very much. Transportation. He needs a train now. Oh, because it's trains per Yeah, maybe a train running along, uh, like a train track running along the top yeah, of his head. There you go. Uh, do you have anything else you want to add for him? No, like you said, it's it's a good setup, but there's really nothing special about it. Yeah, it's but just it's not good. a bad setup. Yeah, it's yeah, just you good. It's like a checklist. You get all the checks, but it's not like, you know. Like, I want this setup. Yeah, it's right. not like looking at an expensive car, you know. It's just like a reliable yeah. car. Uh, so, next setup, Josh14. He's a streamer. You can check him out on Twitch. I think he's actually one of the guys I just banned today, which is fun. Uh, that Ben Q. So, I think yeah, he really likes... <laughs> yep, that's who I banned today, because he was being a dick. So, uh, get a zero. Just kidding. But really, though, I can tell why I would ban you, because look at the bots! Who does that? You literally just ruined your setup. It's bad enough when people shove 85 random miscellaneous boxes onto a shelf, but to, like, glue it to your damn wall? And I think there's another box above yeah, it, yeah. too. Yeah, you deserve to be smacked to smithereens, man. Who does that? Who? Really, though, uh, I, I, you know, first, ballsy move getting a yellow GT Omega. Mm. <laughs> there's nothing wrong with that. I'm just, I think it, it just it's looks really... like the white light's off, like the white balance or whatever. Oh, the white balance is awful. Yeah, it makes it look like it matches the wall, but you can definitely tell it's yes. yellow. Can I get a custom-made one to match my walls? <laughs> I want the white off. balance to look like it's off, kind yeah. of. Yeah. Uh, really, though, I think, like, the setup isn't bad. No. Of course. I mean, even though I banned them for being a dick, like, you know, it, it works. It's, it's good. I, I think that you're missing some key things. You know, where are the speakers? I uh, don't see any headphones. So that really hurt your accessory score. You got a blue snowball. So another reason why you should have been banned. Uh, just kidding. A lot of people always say, what's wrong with the blue snowball, man? I only got $30 to spend. The, the, really, the blue snowball is pretty good, uh, especially for the price. But I'm saying the blue Yeti sucks bull sack because for the price, you get something a lot better. Um, but yeah, I mean, this guy likes putting things on his wall. He's got an LED remote. <laughs> He's like, whatever he can find. He's got his baby sister like, all right, put you up here while I babysit you. He's like, up against the wall. She's like, what the hell is going on? He wanted to put the mic arm against the wall, but it just wasn't yeah, working. So he just couldn't find enough glue, you know? Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it's like, it's a good setup. I don't know if you have a curtain or blinds or something to that extent, but that would probably be annoying if you don't. Uh, yeah, people would be watching you, bro. Yeah, bro. Like, you're streaming, but people are physically <laughs> watching you yeah, from outside the window. Yeah, they're watching you. <laughs> Uh, and then, yeah, a lot of people are, are making fun of the plants. God! Yeah, you know, you guys know how I am. I, I'm not a huge fan of plants, but, like, three little plants? What do they, like, evolve? Do they, like, come together and turn into a, big, a bigger plant? You know what I'm saying? So, I don't know what's up with that, but it, it's it's a cool setup, man. Like, I, you know, you're a dick, but, like, it's a cool <laughs> setup. 
And uh, I just, I find it weird, like someone said in the chat, it's weird that you have a yellow chair, though, because it does not go with anything. Yeah, why don't you just change your wallpaper, then? Yeah, like, that would have been enough to really be like, Whoa. Yeah, because you got yellow on the box. So yeah, I mean, well, that's why I did there it. There you go. Man. I mean, damn. I mean, who else would put up their, their gigabyte motherboard box? That's the weirdest thing. It would have been worse if it was in a display case. Yeah. But that's bad. <sighs> you know, this is just an interesting setup. It, it, it works, but you're a dick. So, anyways... <laughs> Let's go to the next setup. Speaking of dicks, uh, Evan, 15... <laughs> I'm just, I'll, just I'll get to why. Uh, give me a second. All right. Evan's 15. He's a photographer for cars and wildlife, uh, but apparently not for setups because he couldn't show us the whole setup, <laughs> nor could he do a little bit better lighting. But I always I always like to do that because people are like, I'm a professional photographer. I have, oh, 455, oh, I have 455 clients, but when it comes to taking photos of my setup, well, I never did it before. Uh, really, though, that happens more than I'd like to really admit. Uh, but yeah, he's also a video editor, blah, 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 stuff like that. So, Evan, like, cool setup. Not going to lie. I'm not going to, you know, spoiler alert. He, he gets first place. And I think it's pretty obvious why. But I took points off. And he could have gotten a great score. But he did not send me a below photo and he said the cable management is the same as the last submission because this is an updated one i'm like it don't work like that boy you you literally can't say that it's the same as last photo because it for all i know it could be 30 times worse so don't give me that don't give me that uh but yeah so um let's see here I'm trying to look okay yeah so it's only this one photo we don't have any underneath uh just give up now tom just give up just wait. Just let it sit. Okay. Yeah. Don't. 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 Okay. So let it green. Okay. Yeah. All right. The camera's not working, and Tom's freaking out. So just, just leave it. Um. Anyways, the <clears throat> the overall theme. He's got red everywhere. Red stitch. He's got the whole uh, headphone stand, speakers, a little bit of theme, phone stand. Everything is like boom. Just works. Nice. Clean. Good. Uh. The above art which is University of Kansas. It looks cool. I think that's nice. I do think it's a little... Uh, you could may maybe do a little bit more with theme. Just a, just a bit more. Not a lot more. Just a little bit. Uh, maybe get more lights. Like, you get the bloom. You get the iris. You get something like that from Phil Philips Hue. And just kind of, like, put it up against the wall or something uh, to add more red. But I, I like it. I like it. I think it's good. I just, damn, dude, if you just put in the photo that you actually needed, it, it'd get a great score. It would. Um, right, Tom? Yeah. Because you could see the one cable. If I don't know if it'll show up on screen. It's Yeah, I, I could. it's not going to show up. It's too... It's Try to zoom all the way out again. Can they see it at all the way zoom No, it's, it's cropped. Oh, of course. Uh, there, literally, take my word for it, we can see one cable going out just from the very little opening of the desk so that's why i'm just saying i can't give you a great score on cable management because you wouldn't show us and we gave you time so hey man it is what it is next setup submitted by daniel he's 14 he likes to play games and uh he likes suicide squad i would assume i don't know he didn't really say anything but yeah this is my first problem he's got the xbox on the floor you sir oh son of a gun man why <laughs> Like, why? You couldn't come up with uh, uh, something to put under it? You know, like, you gotta put it down there, at least figure something out. Uh, I, that, I'm just not a fan of. I, I definitely think that was... It makes it look like you don't care as much as you should. Uh, but, you know, the, the cable's going down the leg, going around the bottom, stuff like that. That's cool. So, at least you, you gave a shot to that. But, like, treating your Xbox like that, man. Like, I know it is not a PC, but damn! Uh, also, speakers... Especially the one on the right side. It's like, help! Help! It's it, <clears throat> it's currently falling off. So, <clears throat> yeah, it seems to be a problem. But I think uh, your main issue here, I would say, put the PC on the floor. But, like, if the speakers weren't there, it's not bad. It's not like an overflowing amount of uh, crap on your desk. I mean, it, it just about fits perfectly. But the thing is... <sighs> I think you got to get rid of the, the... The main problem is you have a secondary monitor, right? Because even if you put, even if you put the PC down, you're still going to have a little bit of trouble getting the left speaker to be ideal. So you kind of have to decide what you're going to do here. But, you know, bigger desk could always help. You could have the speakers go up and over. There's a few different options, but 
you know, it, it's it's a good setup. We don't really see what's going on above or below, but I mean, like above more so. But um, yeah, what do you think, Tom? It's tough because yeah, it's easy to say get a new desk, but if but the gonna, desk works. Yeah. But the desk works. So, I mean, maybe I just go one monitor, and uh, it just looks too crowded. I put one monitor and put your Xbox up there because your Xbox shouldn't be on the floor. Yeah, it just shouldn't it's, you can put I, the one monitor over the other yeah yeah i mean yeah you could do a lot of different variations but I, I just don't think the xbox should be on the floor to begin with yeah totally agree uh definitely something you should you should consider but yeah cool daniel pretty straightforward uh not a bad setup next setup michael 38 years old enterprise architect for a major radio station company and uh for your information this is a standing desk so that is kind of why, because my first thing, as always, since I'm a dick, I'm always pointing out flaws. But you look, you can see the cables, left side, right side, more so on the left side. You see a lot of cables, and that's like usually my main issue. But you have to think, he's going to need slack. Because if he's going up and down, you can't have tight cables. That's why I absolutely hate standing desks in a fully usable setup where like, you know, you want it to look good, but you want it to be completely usable. You know, for something like this, you can't even see, but I'm going up and down. <laughs> I really think so. Uh, but yeah, we're going up and down, and it's great because I don't really care what the cables look like in here. This is a studio more than anything. But what I love, aside, like if I just blocked out all the cables in here, and I just looked straight at the setup, that is a gorgeous setup in, in terms of displays. I do think the top one is a, a little too high up, and I get it. He's got room for his uh, his uh, C920, but like, it looks like the C920 is ahead, of, like in front of it. So I was wondering if he could bring it down because honestly, it, it needs it, it needs to go down a little bit. It, it seems like a, a problem. Wow, the camera's shot, huh? Yeah, it's black right now. <laughs> huh. uh, but you could always take the C920 and just point it at me, like really awkwardly. <laughs> <laughs> okay uh sorry guys so technical difficulties this never happened during a show before but um yeah i mean he's got everything from microphone to all the different accessories he would need he actually has great speakers if you guys aren't familiar they're actually like home theater speakers they're bose uh it's actually i had similar you can see it more in the other photo yeah. uh i actually used those in my setup briefly and i gave them back to my dad because there there are a lot of cables associated with that especially if you're going optical um, but those sound amazing, like so good. I'm a huge fan of Bose. I think they always sound amazing, but uh, great stuff. You know, the controllers and stuff on the side, as always, I you know think storage is something that you could benefit from. And if not storage, you could get uh, on-desk organizers that would work perfectly. And uh, I think it's, you know, it's a good combination of a lot of different things. One of my favorite things is in the second photo, how you can see the wall with the the key lighting spotlight sort of effect. That looks amazing. I'm a huge fan of the track lighting. Uh, it looks really, really good. And he's got some Linkin Park stuff, platinum or whatever, yeah. uh, which is cool. I think a little bit more theme, obviously, is something I would always like to see more of. You can make it work, Tom. It's... Well, no, because now... Okay, yeah. All right. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> this is a great shot everybody uh anyways back to the setup um uh, you know a little bit more theme if possible and maybe like more of the red because you kind of have that in the mouse pad and stuff um uh, and it looks like there is a big separation on that second photo from the acer to the middle display so i don't know if that's like a problem but it kind of looks like uh on the first photo it's not bad but it looks like it's behind a little yeah you know, so I'm not sure. As long as you got it set up to the way you need, I think it's an interesting, unique, different setup. We haven't seen anything like that in a uh, in a long time. Is that all the slack from the cable you can get? Uh yeah. I mean, it's it's cut behind the monitor right now. The monitor arm. So no. I'm, I'm not gonna go like no, fix no, it no. For I'm just, like I'm just wondering. Uh, but yeah. So you have any thoughts about the setup, Tom? I like the desk. I, I think it's a really slick, like it's huge matte looking desk. Yeah. That and, and the tough thing about it is having the middle of the room and. Uh, you know, that's why cable management is so bad. But I don't know. I, I, I like the desk. I like the setup. But around the whole area is where you need to maybe 
spruce it up a little yeah. bit. Also, the placement of the speakers, I didn't think was ideal. No. But I don't think he could really make it work elsewhere unless he was to rise, uh, rise, raise the monitors up a little bit. Um, <clears throat> but those things could get loud, so I could see why. They're, it's not like they're blocked. Yeah. So. And it looks like they could fit under. Maybe it's just depth perception where it makes it seem like it's taller than it is. But it looks like they could fit right under the monitor. Yeah. Uh, last setup. Submitted by Kyle. He's 20. Staying on this photo, this was uh, <clears throat> his first submission. Well, not really. This was like his before. Then he started watching the show, and he's like, you know what, bro? I just built a PC. I got to do something about this because, ah, it's not working for me. So he's like, hey, I'm going to go to Ikea, and I'm going to change it up. And he did. <clears throat> so he told me he's trying. He's pushing for his mom to actually get rid of the pullout couch to the left side so he can add a second desk for his racing sim setup. <clears throat> you know, I, I actually think maybe instead of that, you could get, like, the longer Linmon and have, like, an L desk because I think you need more room. That's, that's the issue here. It's just way too much on the desk. So here's the thing. It's a great setup, Kyle, but it's so easy to fix and make it a lot better. A lot better. So let me break it down, <clears throat> sort of some of the flaws. First off, out of sight, out of mind, looking, you got the remote, you have the little cards, the carrot, uh, the Astros, all these random accessories, they got to go. You got to either find a better spot for it by getting a bigger desk, or they got to go into a, like a storage bin off to the side. So that couch... Don't even tell your mom. Just throw it to the curb, set it on fire, and you're all set and ready to go. Uh, <clears throat> but really, the left speaker is blocked by the microphone. That's an issue. Even if you move the microphone, like that seems to be the place where it sits at night. So, you know, not ideal. Uh, also, the usability of the monitor is not awful, but the one on the right, the color looks way off. I don't know if it's a different kind of panel or what's going on, but it, it, it just doesn't look like it's even worth having on your desk because it also looks like the size of my left pinky. So uh, the right pinky is a lot bigger. So yeah. I wanted to. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> under the desk looks like, you know, the cable management is not awful. But what's great about what you're trying to do is you could normally put that on the opposite side and hide that power strip. Um, and, and that way it would look a little bit nicer. But. I mean, it's not terrible. It's managed. We see the one cable that looks a little unmanaged, but for the most part, it's good. Just a little too much underneath the desk. Your your legs are gonna hate you because it looks like the the headphone stand is exactly where uh, you know the edge of your left leg would be, possibly crotch area. So you might want to rethink that. Uh, you know, the Xbox thing is cool. I, I like that. Yeah, you know, obviously it's custom built. Kind of scary considering you are on the Linmon top, and I think I'm seeing a bend already. Ooh. You see, no, like more so on the the second photo. You see that? Uh, Very faint. I mean, he probably just got the desk, but it looks well. Don't zoom in. That makes well, it no, worse. I mean, I, I can't even. You can't yeah, even from talk there, I would say you can see. Uh, I like, guess you can kind of see it. Yeah, but I think you know putting an Xbox on there, maybe not the best idea because that's not really going to stay in too much. You know what I mean? Because it, it's not a legitimate solid wood desk. But uh, you know, you got a lot of cool stuff. Uh, the computer could go on the outside. I know the door's right there, but like that's later on. If you do get another desk, you want to keep that on the outside or at least in a spot where your legs aren't uh, sitting. It's hard. It just seems like really hard. Like uh, someone just said, Bones in the chat, the Xbox thing looks like it could be a really annoying for your left knee. So just a lot of different issues to kind of think of. But of course, looking back at your first setup, big difference, big, big difference. But keep going with the momentum, make it work. Uh, the poster is, is okay. It looked better framed, as always. It looks a little off. It is off. It is? <laughs> yeah, it's slanted a little bit. Yeah, that's just... Do a little check in there. But maybe also paint the walls, stuff like that. If, if your mom lets you take out the couch, kind of be like, yo, let me just paint it, because the house kind of looks like shit. So let me just... Let me just... But <clears throat> I think it's easy fixes. Like, really, a lot of things I'm saying aren't hard. And you could bump up your grade by... Grade. Uh, bump up your score by, like, 10, 20 points easily. The other stuff, yeah, may, may take a little bit more work, but don't you agree? Yeah, you just need more desk <coughs> space, and, and you know that, so getting rid of that fold-out couch would be the first thing I would do, and yeah. get a bigger desk. Agreed. Um, but, yeah, I think easy fixes. Let's go to <laughs> the scores. Hi, everybody. We're live in the studio from the best camera to ever happen. Okay. Uh, Vic with an 88, Andreas with an 84, Trevor with a 62, Philip with an 88, Josh with an 84, Evan with a 90, Daniel with a 78, Michael with an 84, and Kyle with a 70. There you go, Evan. Congratulations. This is fun live in studio. 
pick it up. You can pick it up a little. Feel, feel yeah, yeah. Be a cameraman. There you go. Uh, the cable is a little tight right now. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So uh, this is about as far as we're gonna get. <laughs> as close as we're gonna get, rather. Uh, thank you so much for watching this episode. Bit by episode, episode number one eighty. Six quarter live on January 31st, 2017. My name is Philly. You can find me on Twitter at my Philly. You can check Tom out at Thomas Philly. Yeah, honestly, dude. Um, yeah, I can't believe it's the end of January, and I can't believe we're using this webcam. But yeah. all right, guys, we'll see you later.